Hi, this is Margaret from Noble Desktop, and today we'll be looking at creating a mask in the Lemaitre color panel. Let's make Dan black and white and his background color. Let's separate Dan from the background. Let's use the window workspace color. We'll use the Lemaitre color panel for this. And under your basic color correction, you have saturation. I have Dan clicked on and I'm going to take away the saturation so everything is black and white. Now we'll pop over into our effects control tab. Here's your Lumetri color you've just added. And now I'm going to choose my mask. And now just as we did with the blur, we are going to have this formed around Dan. And when it's something with the foreground and the background, do be sure to mask feather it. You almost always have to do that. Make sure that there's no part of him that's not being covered. And now once again, I have my plate in the middle of this. You could start at the beginning and make your life easier, but I just made it harder. So I'm gonna have to do forward and backwards, but that's okay. So let's mask forward. Even though somebody's just sitting and talking, they're definitely moving. Um, so you, you have to track every time you do a mask, you know, unless it's a photograph. Let's see how this works. Evolving with this industry has kept my work. Not that great, not quite wide enough. So I'm gonna click on this again, click on mask one to make adjustments. And now once this is on, you can then pull this out a little bit further. Every time you've made a change, like I'm doing right now, a little bit too much, but it's okay as long as it's not on the color. You have to retrack it. I'm going to retrack it backwards now. Okay, let's see how this looks. Evolving with this industry has kept my work life interesting, and it's one of the reasons I still love being a designer after all the. Okay, when you're. Working with something like this, you're adding a mask. In our next video, we're going to be looking at opacity masks, which are removing something in order to add another image underneath it. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on creating a mask using the Lumetri panel. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.